Always ensure all subsea connections are lubricated properly and mated fully. Refer to the user manual for information about video ray connectors and care. Remove the float block by removing the four float block screws. Disconnect port and starboard 5-pin connector chains from the power module and 5-pin extension whip. Remove the aft vertical thruster 5-pin connector from the starboard chain of connections and add it to the port side. Add the male-female 5-pin battery power cables to both chains of connections. Insert the remaining ends of the battery's 5-pin whips through the openings of the frame above the horizontal aft thrusters. Turn the submersible on its side or upside down. Use caution if a USB-L beacon is attached. For demonstration purposes, the submersible will be upright during the battery installation in this video. Insert the battery cam locks into the corresponding square openings in the lower frame, ensuring the 5-pin ports are at the aft end of the submersible. Twist the cam locks clockwise to secure both batteries to the frame. Connect the male ends of the 5-pin battery power cables to the batteries. Replace the float block. Power up the batteries by inserting the included power wand into the circular opening in the center forward facing end of one of the batteries. When turning on the batteries, powering up one battery will automatically power up the other battery. Insert the wand for one second and remove. Pause to listen for two audible tones heard from this battery, followed by two audible tones heard from the other battery. Ensure that the submersible has power by observing flashing LED indicators on the power and communications modules. The following step outlines the procedure for powering off the batteries. Turning off the batteries requires each battery to be independently powered down. Insert and hold the power wand into the center opening of each battery for approximately one second to turn the power off. A single audible tone should be heard when powering down. Confirm power to the ROV is off and that the LED lights on the power and communications modules are no longer illuminating.